Guys, do not forget, Tom Clancy before his death was all about realistic shooter games. What we're gonna see is a new Tom Clancy game, and I'm sure it, 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 it won't be a realistic shooter games. They're just, again, they might be spitting on Tom Clancy's legacy again, which I just... They've already done it with Rainbow Six Extraction, with a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege, and... Let's see what it's all about before judging. We're excited to share a first look at a project we're developing at Ubisoft San Francisco. This what is, is this? our take on a multiplayer first person shooter. We need to get you in early and find out what you think. Our goal is to make a best in class shooter for you, the players, to compete and have fun with your friends. It's fast paced firefights meets punk rock mosh pit. We're proud to introduce our new game, Tom Clancy's X Defiant. X XD. Your feedback is essential to help us make this game great. XD Defiant. Later in this video, we'll tell you how to get involved. But first, we'll get into the action. This is a free-to-play, high-octane. This looks like Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Realistic gunplay with personalized classes. Those classes are represented in our game as factions, each bringing unique gameplay and team dynamics. Every faction comes equipped with traits, abilities, and an ultra to complement your playstyle and the faction's role. Not some abilities again. Each faction is capable of swinging the momentum of a match. This is not... Our factions are at the heart of the game. They're inspired by Maverick groups from across Tom Clancy's games and beyond. From this inspiration, we created new characters and gameplay unique to our shooter. This is not what Tom Clancy would have wanted. We'll continue to add to this diverse cast as the game evolves. Now, while factions help you define your role, we know to be a great shooter, the gunplay has to be our top priority. We have an ever-growing arsenal of authentic weapons and attachments. We put a lot of care into how our weapons look and feel. We've crafted every weapon attachment for precise, satisfying gunplay. Players can mix and match any faction weapon loadout. You can swap at respawn to adapt to a changing battlefield. Personalize your faction and loadout to be what you need when you need it. And I can't stress this hard enough. We are a shooter first. And your abilities and ultras create unique opportunities to set up nail-biting shootouts and unforgettable clutch plays. Personalizing classes, guns, and gear in a fast-paced fight is a whole new experience in Tom Clancy Gaming. We are super stoked by what we've accomplished so far. And I couldn't be more proud of our incredible team. We want to personally thank everyone that's worked so hard during the pandemic to keep the momentum going on this game. We understand that it's been even harder for some of you. We hope that we can build a community that's a place where people can connect and have fun. And we're committed to creating a welcoming game based on fair play and transparency, whether you're playing casually or pushing yourself competitively. Now, the game's still in early development, but we're gearing up to let you in as soon as possible. So register right now to participate in our early rollout phases. Thank you so much for watching. We really want your input, so please reach out to us on social media. Alright, I think it's over. Now guys, tell me I'm not the only one that feels Tom Clancy would have never wanted something like this. It's just another Ubisoft game with full of colors, full of abilities, full of random stuff, you know, all these, just a, a quirky little FPS multiplayer game that's just gonna disappear in a month, I think. Tom Clancy would have, again, <laughs> never wanted something like this. All he was making was realistic tactical shooters before his death, and now Ubisoft has completely taken over. His last game with Ubisoft was Rainbow Six Patriots, which was cancelled, and it was one of the most realistic tactical shooters that was to a release at that time. And Ubisoft cancelled it, 
to revive it as Rainbow Six Siege. And it's this game was meant to talk about a lot of conspiracies in the world and just some really realistic and good stuff that would have pushed Tom Clancy's legacy like really forward. But now they're just playing with it. They're just playing with the name and with its popularity and bringing some random games. Let me, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm just... I'm really not excited for this XD uh, XD Defiant. And they also highlighted the XD. Anyway, we can't see it here, but they highlighted the XD like it's something quirky or f a little funny. But let me know what you think. I'm not that excited for it.